Is it okay? Is it okay to copy other artists? Well, people say it's wrong to do so, that we're being an original or ripping off others of their ideas. Are they right? Well, yes. And no. There's a stigma when it comes to copying other artists, that it's wrong or it's an immoral act that will probably send you to the gates of artistic hell where the devil will crucify you for this horrendous sin. Okay, I may be exaggerating, but some people do feel somewhat similar to this. Especially the young newbie artists who are under the naive impression that everything that they draw should be quote unquote original. That it should be so original that even the slightest hint of their influences or inspiration would be a crime of the highest degree. Where you'll be penalized and put on the death chair or something like that, I don't know. Okay, let's cut to the chase here. Copying is bad. It's not okay if you're trying to, you know, plagiarize someone else's work and trying to pass it off as your own. Don't do that. Plagiarism is wrong. But copying is good. In fact, it's necessary if you're trying to learn from the artist who you're copying from. So there's a big freaking difference. So if you understand that, let me show you how to copy stuff. So here's my guide on how to copy your favorite artists and learn from them, hopefully. The first step is to pick out the artists that you really like to learn from. In this case, I'm picking myself. No, I'm not narcissistic. I just don't want to get flagged for featuring other artists work in my blog. So once you've picked out the artists that you really like to learn from, you pick out one or two of their works, or you can go to their portfolio, AKA their Instagram page, and just go through their profile and see which image that you really like and would like to copy and learn from. So once you're done with that, you pick up your sketchbook and start drawing. I highly recommend that you usually fill a page or half a page or two pages filled with the works of the artists you are learning from so that you'll get a better understanding of their style and their thinking process. So technically you're now stepping into their shoes and seeing how they are doing the drawings that they're doing. The key here is to try to break these drawings down to its essentials so that you can learn from them, which is usually, you know, the big shapes, the gesture, and also try to spot out like unique skills that is required to make art similar to this. The key here is to understanding the big things that catches your eye. In this case, my drawings are mostly made of big blobby shapes, so they are basically based on the foundations of drawing. And also really like flowy drawings and lines that transition well into each other, so I place a lot of important on gesture. I try to make my lines go well with each other and try to tell a story with the lines themselves. And a couple of other skills that add to my style is inking using a brush pen, which weirdly adds its own unique flair to the drawings that I make. And I wouldn't call what I'm about to say a skill, but my lack of understanding for drawing humans in human anatomy also weirdly makes up for my style. So I use big cylinders and cube as a replacement for, you know, knowing not how to draw you know, body parts. So once you do all these things and spot the stuff that really attracts you, you make notes of all these things and try to apply those into your own drawings. And voila! You're not technically copying other artists' work, but you're just copying to understand the philosophy behind their way of thinking, which you can add to your toolbox of art. And you do that with a bunch of other artists. You learn things quickly and a lot faster, and also will be on your process of finding your own unique style of art. The thing is, we all got into art probably because we got inspired by a cartoon we saw as a kid or a movie or a person or an artwork we used to admire so much that we want to make something like that by ourselves. And to understand that person or artwork or the cartoon that inspired you, you need to actually step into their shoes and understand the process of how those things were made in the first place. And one of the ways you step into their shoes is actually by going through their process, which is, in this case, copying their work. You do what they exactly did so that you can understand their mode of thinking and what decisions they were making during the process of their art. I came across a blog post recently which said plagiarism from other artists is okay and they pointed out to my videos called steal like an artist and made their case and I would say no that's not what I meant in that video. You don't steal stuff from other people. You just steal the philosophy behind their work, behind their way of thinking, so that you can find your own way of thinking and eventually do your own original work. Plagiarism is wrong. Let me reiterate that again. Plagiarism is wrong. Don't do that. 
and also try not to post the stuff that you're copying from other artists because you know I don't it, it's from other artists man they don't want to do that and if you actually do post it try to credit those people who you're trying to learn from and copying from so it kind of balances the point and for some weird reason if you still feel guilty to you know quote unquote copy others artwork I'd like to leave you with a quote from Francis Ford Coppola one of the greatest artists and filmmakers of this generation here it goes we want you to take from us. We want you, at first, to steal from us. Because we can't steal. You will take what we give you and you will put it in your own voice. And that's how you'll find your own voice. And the drawing I did earlier in this video was for a draw this in your style challenge of this artist named Lena J Art uh, something on Instagram. So I'll be posting the colored version of it on Instagram, my Instagram. So check that out. And two, we have started a podcast three weeks ago, and we're already three episodes in. It's been going well. We've been receiving some good reviews. So we have started a separate channel for the podcast. So you can go check that channel out, subscribe, listen to the podcast, and everything is available on YouTube, Anchor, SoundCloud, iTunes. Not on Spotify yet. I don't know how that works. But hey, you start a podcast. Go listen to that stuff, you're way into it, and subscribe to that channel. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys.